this is everything for chapter 2. Uh, that is the uh, uh, matrix algebra and vectors. Okay. So, uh, along this chapter, nanti, you will learn uh, ataupun you need to recall back what you have learned in secondary school or in calculus ataupun mathematics algebra before this uh, regarding the matrices dan dia punya um, operation or subtraction macam mana you know about addition of matrices and so on okay alright so I akan briefly explain dulu about the matrices dia punya um, the basic term dalam matrices dan baru kita go further kepada um, calculation alright so the first one adalah vectors so what is vectors actually vectors actually adalah uh, matrix juga but matrix with uh, only one column that that have only one column so ianya dinamakan vectors matrix with one column dinamakan vectors contohnya yang ni X equal to, dia punya entry semua dalam satu kolom sahaja. So, kalau kat sini, kalau kita tengok, dia punya dimension for this matrix adalah N by 1. Okay, uh, matrix, kita akan sebut row dulu, baru kolom kan. So, we have N row. Okay, we have N rows and only one kolom. And then, uh, if you can remember, notation untuk matrix, kalau kat sini, X, uh, variable kita adalah X. So, notationnya must be bold. Kan, kena bulkan. Ok, uh, bila variable tu dibulkan, so automatically kita tahu that variable dalam matrix. Ok. So, this one adalah X transpose, which is uh, we change the row and the column. Kedudukan position of position of row and column. So, dia akan jadi kat sini um, 1 by n S, uh, betul, 1 by n 1 row beberapa kolom ok, and then bila kita, you nak multiply the skala, C adalah skala skala dengan matrix ataupun vectors, so we just can uh, multiply the entry macam tu je we can multiply the entry Cx1, Cx2 and so on Okay, and then if we have two matrix ataupun two vectors that having the same dimension, macam kat sini, x, uh, n by 1, dan dimension untuk y also n by 1. So, we can uh, do the addition between these two uh, vectors. So, yang ni akan jadi x1 plus y1, x2 plus y2 until xn plus yn. Okay, so that is the vectors. You tahu vectors adalah matrix that uh, includes only one column. And then, we can calculate the length of the vectors. How? By, okay, uh, sama ada kita squarekan every entry of the vectors ataupun you need to multiply the uh, vectors uh, x transpose multiply x then you akan dapat value let's square root kan that value akan dapat length ok so bila ada skala macam tadi cx tadi so kita boleh uh, keluarkan c daripada uh, matrix tadi tu and then letak modulus maksudnya value nya will be positive dan multiply dengan length of that vector. Okay. And then, we also can find the angle of the vector. This is a formula actually. Formula gunakan cos theta. Tetapi, uh, we have this formula of cosine. Okay. Ataupun kita boleh gunakan formula ni kat bawah ni. Okay. Gunakan vector. Dapatkan cos theta cos theta x transpose y ok, so maksudnya matrix of, uh, if we have two vector, kita nak cari angle between the two vector ok, kita nak cari angle between the two vector 
we can uh, use this formula. Okay, transpose of matrix X multiply the matrix of Y divide dengan square root of length of X. Betul tak? This one adalah length of X multiply dengan length of Y. Okay, kalau you nak tengok illustration, tak letak dalam this um, slide. Illustration of the uh, angle of the vectors ni ada dalam your textbook. Eh? Page 90. If we have uh, two vector, then we want to find the length of the uh, uh, we want to find the angle of the vector. We take illustration figure 3.4 dekat page 90. Okay. So, ini dia punya formula. Okay, tengok example. Okay, let's say we have this two vector, transpose of vector. X transpose, 1, 3, 2 dia punya entry. Y transpose, negative 2, 1 and negative 1. So, kalau matrix X akan jadi um, satu kolom je lah. Kan, matrix X dia akan jadi, kat sini tak boleh nak cuan. Okay, saya contoh kat sini ni. So, matrix X, dia akan jadi vektor. Okay? Matrix X akan jadi vektor. Dia akan jadi macam ni. Satu kolom saja. 1, 3, 2, dia punya um, uh, uh, um, matrix, which is uh, 3 by 1 vectors. Okay, Y pun sama lah kalau kalau vektor Y so dia akan jadi matrix with one column which is negative 2 1 and negative 1 which is 3 by 1 ok soalan pertama dapatkan uh, matrix 3 by X X adalah a vector Tari adalah skala. So, just kita boleh multiply the skala ataupun constant with the vector of x. Just multiply this and the entry with the uh, constant tadi. Dia akan dapat this matrix. Okay, and then uh, dapatkan matrix x plus y. Okay, because of matrix x dan matrix y adalah uh, have the, di the same dimension which is 3 by 1. So, we can do the summation. Uh, we can do the addition between these two vectors. So, just tambah dia punya entry. Okay, C. Dapatkan length of x dan dapatkan length of y. So, remember dia punya formula adalah square root of x transpose x. Okay, so you first of all, you kena cari dulu uh, value of x transpose x. Okay, remember how to multiply the matrix. Okay, dia punya entry. Okay, dia punya entry. 1 multiply 1 plus 3 multiply 3 plus 2 multiply 2. So, you akan dapat 14. So, dapatkan length of matrix. Uh, of the vector x, square root of the 14 so you will get the answer same goes to the um, vector of y ok ok, so let's say kita nak cari angle between the vector of x dan y so using the formula tadi sin x equal to mat uh, matrix of x transpose y divide dengan length of x multiply length of y so, you need to multiply these two matrix first. You can dapat negative 1. Divide dengan length of x. Multiply length of y. So, you can dapat negative 0 0.109. Ni bukan angle lagi. Ini adalah cosine x. So, macam mana you nak dapatkan uh, value of theta equal to 96.3? Should be. You boleh guna calculator, betul? Which is you uh, masukkan value uh, cosine inverse of cosine sorry inverse of cosine uh, of negative 0.109 then you akan dapatlah theta nya adalah 96.3 degree that is the angle between the two vectors ok soalan last kali dekat sini adalah berkaitan ok dia nak you prove that ataupun check that the length of the 3x 
sama uh, is 3 times the length of x. So, tadi kita dah ada, dah cari length of x. Kan? Which is um, square root of 14. So, now kita carilah pula um, because of we know that tadi dekat A tadi dah cari uh, matrix of 3x. So, carilah length for the uh, 3x vector dapat 1 to 6. So, the length ni adalah a square root of 1 to 6 which is kalau kita tengok sini it is equal with the uh, length of x multiply 3. So, this is the proving method. Alright, so that is the vectors. The next one is matrices. Okay, matrices like I said just now lah. Um, notation must be bold kalau yang ni matrix A ni adalah um, matrix, the dimension will be 2 by 3 2 row, 3 column so 2 by 3 matrix B pun sama, 2 by 3 matrix transpose of A maksudnya you change uh, the column and the row of the matrix A ni right, so because of that dia akan jadi uh, 3 by 2 matrix and then we also can multiply the matrix with the constant. Just multiply the constant with each of the entry of matrix A and B. Okay, so you can dapat this. And then also we can do the addition between the two matrix uh, that have the same dimension. Okay. And then how to do the multiplication between the matrices. Okay, ingat nak buat multiplication, kena dia punya dimension mesti sama. Di sini dimension, uh, let's say kita nak multiply matrix A dan B. So, dia punya dimension uh, untuk matrix A tu, dia punya uh, column mesti sama dengan row untuk matrix B. Barulah you boleh multiply. Dan last kali you akan dapat matrix of 2 by 1. Okay, with 2 by 1. Okay. How to multiply this? Okay. Uh, the first one. First row, multiply dengan first column. So, you akan dapat entry 5 dekat sini. Okay. So, the entry must be multiply then add. Alright. The next one is the matrices. Like I said just now, uh, bila kita buat punya matrix, the punya questions should be bold, and then you need to know how to grid the dimension for the matrix. Okay, contohnya ni matrix A, the punya dimension adalah two by three, right? Because of we have two rows here and three columns, sama juga uh, matrix B pun, matrix two by three. Okay, uh, transpose of A will be change the rows and the column. The rows will be column, the column will be rows. Okay, so because of that here, dimension will be 3 by 2. Okay, kalau you tengok, dia punya um, entry pun berubah daripada row jadi column. Okay, and then when we want to multiply a matrix with a constant, okay, macam tadi juga, we can just multiply the entry of the matrix with that constant, right? So we just multiply that, and then the addition of the of the or addition of the two matrices, uh, it can be uh, done as long as the dimension for the both matrices are equal. Okay, dimension the matrix because of matrix A and matrix B here I have the same dimension which is 2 by 3 uh, matrix so we can uh, add up the punya entry for each of these matrices just tambah saja dia punya entry and then uh, the next one adalah multiplication of the matrices 
Okay, you should know how to multiply the two matrices or three matrices. Okay, um, let's say here we want to multiply matrix A and B. Make sure, kalau tengok dia punya dimension, eh, matrix A 2 by 3, matrix B adalah 3 by 1. Make sure uh, column for matrix A sama dengan row untuk matrix B. Okay, barulah kita boleh buat the multiplication between these two matrix. So, last kali kita akan dapat matrix 2 by 1. And then, how to multiply the matrix of A and B here? Okay, so you need to multiply 1 by 1. Okay, let's say, uh, first of all, untuk dapatkan uh, entry 5 here, we need to multiply the first row here with the first column here. So, dapatlah 5. Okay, and then multiply the second row with the first column. Dapatlah 69. Okay, tengok matrix C by uh, C multiply A. Uh, it can be done because of here 2 by 2. Last kali you akan dapat matrix 2 by 3. Okay, so multiply 1 by 1. Yang ni kalau you nak multiply secara manually lah. Okay, if not, you juga boleh gunakan calculator untuk multiply the matrices. Still remember how to use the calculator. Kalau tak ingat, you kena recall balik macam mana cara nak guna calculator untuk multiply the matrices because it is advantage for you uh, uh, apa ni? lagi cepat kalau you multiply the matrix using calculator. Okay, try to figure out, try to flash back, call back macam mana nak gunakan calculator nak multiply the matrix kan kena masuk mode matrix dulu and then um, ok this one adalah symmetric matrix ok so you need to know what is the symmetric matrix kadang-kadang akan ditanya whether that matrix adalah symmetric matrix or not a symmetric Matrix hanyalah uh, appear, exist for a square matrix saja. Apa maksud square matrix? Square matrix maksudnya uh, number of column dan number of rows for a matrix is equal. Macam yang ni, square matrix because of 2 by 2 matrix. Yang ni pun adalah square matrix because of 2 by 2 matrix. 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4 adalah dipanggil square matrix. So, kita tahu sama ada uh, that matrix adalah symmetric or not. Okay. Uh, by check for this. Matrix of A equal to X transpose. Uh, sorry. Uh, the transpose of the matrix equal to the original matrix. Okay. Let's say this one. Kenapa? Ianya adalah symmetric matrix. Okay. So, you kena cari dia punya apa ni transpose matrix ok let's see kita buat matrix A contoh equal to tadi 3, 5 5 negative 2 ok ini matrix A find the transpose of this matrix which is A transpose ok we change the row jadi column so, kat sini akan jadi 3, sini akan jadi 5, dan di sini 5, di sini negative 2. So, this 2 is equal, right? Because of that, this matrix dipanggil symmetric matrix. How about this? Dia hanya square matrix, tapi not the symmetric matrix. Because of, okay, let's see. Kita buat dia hanya sebagai B. 2, 6. Oh, negative 2. Okay, try to find this uh, transpose of matrix B. So, row can jadi column 3, 6, 4, negative 2. Okay, seems that the B and B transpose is not equal matrix. So, we cannot say that this matrix adalah symmetric matrix. So, this matrix will be not symmetrical. Okay. 
and then uh, diagonal matrices. Okay, ini rupa diagonal matrices, uh, which is which is the entry for the diagonal of the matrices. Ini diagonal, dipanggil diagonal. Okay, entry of a diagonal matrices. Uh, uh, we have the entry only for diagonal. It's only on the diagonal. Dekat entry line semuanya zero. Dekat diagonal sahaja yang ada entry. Yang lain-lain entrynya zero. Dipanggil diagonal matrices. Okay. Satu lagi adalah orthogonal. Orthogonal uh, matrix. Orthogonal matrix adalah uh, will exist only for square matrix sahaja. So, macam mana kita nak check? Kita boleh check gunakan this one. Bila kita multiply the matrix with its transpose, akan dapat identity matrix. Ataupun, kalau bicara, dapatkan inverse dia. Inverse should be equal dengan dia punya transpose of the matrix. Okay. Ini contoh uh, gunakan cosine. So, last kali kat sini, you akan dapat identity matrix. Ini masuk identity matrix, which is all the diagonal matrix adalah 1. Uh, entry for the diagonal adalah 1. Okay, let's say kita ambil uh, contoh tadi lah. Kita tengok ianya orthogonal ataupun tidak. Matrix A tadi. Okay, let's say matrix A. This, this is my matrix A transpose. Okay, we need to multiply these two matrix. Okay, try to multiply matrix A with A transpose. Dapat dapat uh, identity matrix or not? Okay, kan? Kita nak, kita nak proof yang ni. Okay, dengan okay. So, 3, 5, 5, negative 2, multiply, 3, 5, 5, negative 2. So, multiply this two matrix. Sama ada you gunakan calculator ataupun buat manually pun boleh. Okay, so saya akan gunakan calculator lah. First of all, I akan masuk mode matrix first and then I akan ambil shift 4 untuk matrix. First, kita kena apa ni uh, masukkan matrix dulu. Which is dimensionnya adalah untuk matrix A, ambil dimension, ambil matrix A1, so dia punya dimension is 2 equal to 2. Right, so masukkan dia punya entry, A11 is 3, A12 is 5, A21 is 5, A22 is negative 2. Okay. So, saya akan bagi dah tu lagi definisi untuk matrix yang kedua. Okay, saya akan masuk balik shift 4. Masuk dimension untuk matrix B pula. B tu untuk A transpose lah. Saya nak define dia. So, 2 equal to 2. Saya masukkan 3. Oh, because actually because of the matrix is equal. Masuk satu sekali je lah pun tak apa. Right. Okay, so just multiply matrix. Panggil balik matrix tadi, shift 4. Pergi kepada 3, which is matrix. Matrix A, multiply dengan panggil balik matrix tadi. Matrix B, sebab saya buat tadi, B kan. So, I akan dapat kat sini. 35, 5, 5, and 29. So, it is not the identity matrix. Kalau identity matrix, it will be 1, 0, 0, 1. So, because of when we, we multiply matrix A dengan A transpose, kita tak dapat identity matrix macam ni. So, we can say that matrix A is not an orthogonal matrix. Kalau you dapat yang ni, okay, kalau kat sini kita dapat identity matrix, so we can say that matrix A adalah orthogonal. If not, it is not. Okay. Alright, itu untuk matrix A.
for the next one adalah item values and item vectors. Okay, item values and item vectors ni uh, you have learn uh, further sejak lagi in the next topic. Okay, but before that, I akan explain dulu what is item values and how to find the item values and the corresponding item vectors. Okay, icon values and icon vectors ni will uh, can exist only uh, for square matrix, and that square matrix should be symmetric matrix. Okay, so we can find the icon values. The notationnya adalah lambda, and we also can find its corresponding. Uh, eigen vectors for each of the eigen values. So kita akan gunakan konsep yang ni. It will satisfying this uh, equation, which is a x equal to lambda x. A adalah our matrix. X adalah eigen vectors. Lambda adalah eigen values. Okay, yang kita nak cari adalah eigen values lambda dan its corresponding eigen vectors. X, okay. Using uh, when we have the matrix A, okay, we find the eigen values and eigen vectors for matrix A. Alright, okay. So first of all, macam mana kita nak tengok macam mana how to find the eigen values? We will use this uh, equation, which is the determinant of matrix A minus the lambda i should be equal to Zero. Yang kita nak cari adalah value lambda ni. Okay, so first of all, kena cari dulu lambda i. i adalah identity matrix. Remember, what is identity matrix? Ident uh, matrix that uh, the diagonal, its diagonal is 1 and the other entry will be 0. Okay, I will not use this example sebab ada kesalahan dekat sini. If you like, if you look here. The matrix A adalah not the symmetric matrix. Okay, apa maksud symmetric matrix? The matrix that uh, uh, equal with its transpose matrix, right? Okay, so uh, we will use the example from your textbook, page 98, example 3.9. Okay, we will use that matrix. To find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, the matrix A adalah 1, negative 5, negative 5, and 1. Okay, this is a square matrix. And this square matrix adalah symmetric matrix. Right? Okay, so... Um, Macam tadi, uh, we want to find the eigenvalues, so we need to satisfy this equation, which is the determinant of A, matrix A minus dengan lambda I should be equal to 0. So, first of all, we need to identify the matrix of lambda I, lambda yang kita nak cari tadi. Okay, matrix I adalah identity matrix because of A adalah matrix 2 by 2. So, identity matrix is also will be 2 by 2 matrix. So, it will be lambda 0, 0, lambda. Alright. So, first of all, find dulu matrix A minus lambda I. So, it will be this matrix minus dengan matrix lambda I. So, it will be 1 minus lambda. Negative 5. Negative 5. And 1 minus lambda. Okay, next, find the determinant of this matrix. Then equate it with 0. So, how to find the determinant? You need to recall back your knowledge uh, for algebra and calculus. Right? So, it will be these two. It will be multiplied. So, 1 minus lambda multiply with 1 minus lambda. And then uh, minus with the multiplication of these two uh, uh, value, right? So it will be minus 20 
5. Alright. And then, so how to solve this? Then equate to 0 untuk dapatkan lambda. So, seems that we need to um, expand this first. So, you can dapat 1 minus lambda minus lambda plus lambda square minus 25. Solve this, then you will get lambda square minus 2 lambda uh, minus 24. Alright, so how to solve lambda? We need to uh, factorize this first. Alright, so whether uh, you gonna lah, uh, apa ni? your knowledge um, from a previous knowledge macam mana nak dapat nak factorize this equation this quadratic form uh, ataupun boleh guna calculator it's up to you so it will be lambda minus 6 and lambda plus 4 right is it true so value lambda will be positive 6 dan juga negative 4 Right, so we have the two value for uh, two value eigen values for matrix A, which is lambda six and lambda negative four. Next, we can find the eigen vectors for the corresponding lambda. Kita boleh dapatkan eigen vectors untuk lambda six dan eigen vectors untuk lambda negative four. Okay, so we will use this equation. Okay, so we need to uh, find the eigenvectors uh, for lambda 6 and lambda negative 4 one by one. Okay, we will use this equation. Kita nak cari this x eigenvectors, right? Okay. Okay, let's say kita buat dulu untuk lambda I buat lambda 1 6 Okay, we will use this one tadi equation ni A minus lambda I lambda I X equal to 0 All of this adalah matrices kita nak cari this x when lambda equal to 6 ok so you punya kita punya lambda i sekarang adalah uh, because of lambda adalah 6 so it will be 6 0 0 0 6 is it true ok ok so this matrix will be Okay, our matrix A tadi, this one, 1, negative 5, negative 5, 1. So, the first entry here, 1 minus 6, which is negative 5. Di sini, negative 5 minus 0. So, negative 5, negative 5 minus 0 here, negative 5. And then, here adalah 1 minus 6, negative 5. Okay, our punya, our, our... I can practice yang kita nak cari. We noted as x1 and x2 here. Okay. Equal to matrix 0. Okay. From this, we can create two equation. Right? Which is, bila kita multiply these two matrix, so we will get this one. Negative 5. Okay. Negative 5 x1. The 5 multiply x1 minus 5 x2. Okay, sama juga. Yang kedua ni, sama negative this one. The multiply this uh, this rule of the matrix. Multiply this column of the matrix. So, for this matrix, kita akan dapat the same entry. So, seems that we uh, we get the two apa ni uh, we got the 
two equation here. Tapi equation yang sama. So, let me start. It is negative 5x1 minus 5x2 equal to 0. Sekarang ni kita nak cari eigenvectors which is the value of x, this x1 dan x2 here. Alright. So, we let okay, we let x1 equal to 1. Tak kisah you boleh let kan let any uh, which one x1 or x2 sebagai 1. Okay, the, the, the next step. Yeah. So, when x1 equal to 1 so it will be negative 5 minus 5 x2 equal to 0. Then x2 will be negative 1. So our uh, eigen vectors will be 1 and negative 1. Okay, for the corresponding lambda 6. So ni kita dua yang kita nak. Okay. Ini adalah eigen value, sorry eigen vectors for uh, eigen value six. Okay, so itu adalah eigen vectors. Tapi yang kita nak adalah normalize eigen vectors, which is matrix X, which is the eigen vectors divide dengan square root of X transpose X untuk dapatkan normalize eigen vectors. So we need to find x transpose x. We need to find x transpose x which is, this one is x right? Kalau x transpose uh, it will be change the row and column. So you are going to add 2. So the normalized eigen factors notationnya adalah e sebab e1 sebab kat sini for the first uh, eigen values so it will be okay this one tadi the vectors divide dengan square root of x transpose x so this one the value nya 1 divide dengan square root of x transpose x which is 2 this one negative 1 over square root of 2 so ini adalah eigen uh, normalized eigen vectors for uh, lambda 6 ok so kita nak dua ni and this one and then buat lagi satu pula untuk uh, lambda 4 ok saya buat kat sini lah ok buat row ok kita buat pula untuk lambda equal to negative 4 ok Using the same uh, step, first find this. Okay, a minus lambda i x equal to zero, which is lambda i nya adalah negative four zero zero negative four. Okay. So the matrix will be okay, matrix A 1 here, the entry here 1 minus 4 will be 5 here negative 5 minus 0, negative 5 negative 5 5 okay, the eigenvectors will be x1, x2 then equal to matrix of 0 so we will have the equation of 5x1 minus 5 x2 equal to 0 so we let x1 equal to 1 when x1 equal to 1 then the equation will be 5 minus 5 x2 equal to 0 then x2 will be 1 so the eigen factors so the eigen factors will be 1 and 1 for lambda negative 4. Okay, but we need to find the normalized eigenvectors. So, we can find the x transpose x for this matrix. So, 1, 1, multiply it in 1, 1 here. So, the answer is positive 2.
right? So the normalized eigenvectors for the second eigenvalues will be 1 over square root of 2 and 1 over square root of 2. Okay? And the other daripada this matrix, right? 1 over the square root of x transpose x. So we have this uh, two value lambda negative 4. Then this is the normalized eigen factor. Alright, that is the way how you find, you can find the uh, eigenvalues and normalized eigenvectors for the square matrix.